Hello and welcome to this uh, quick video tutorial, Click Team Fusion 2.5, on how quickly and easy you can get objects to fire out objects. How you can get objects to fire out objects. <laughs> Alright, so let's put this into perspective a little bit. So we've got a play area here. Let's drop in one of the retro hero ships, as you can see here. Uh, we're going to move this guy around with a quick uh, eight directional movement. Run the application be able to move him around the play area there we go looks quite funky already that uh right so what do we need to do we're going to drop in a blue laser uh this is going to be our laser object so we need to uncheck create at start because we're going to create this manually this is the best way to do things in fusion 2.5 now if we open up um the object itself to look at its animations you'll notice or you should know by now that you have two different types of spots in every animation first one is the hot spot this is the center of the animation usually um, or that is the focal or the anchor point for um, the animation and you've also got an action point here and as you can see the action point is at the tip this is where we are going to fire out our laser from um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ensure that the uh, hotspot for our laser is at the bottom and that's so when we create our object it will create nice and neatly in line with the action point round about there like that so we'll give it a shot let's jump over to the event editor real quick and we'll just create a simple event that says when we press the space bar this is where we do it so we just right click on here and we go to create object we select the blue laser and then we click on our actual ship object so it's relative to and then we click on options and then we set originating from action point click ok and it's as simple as that so we can now move our ship around and we can do this now as you can see we've got a bit of uh, a bit of a conundrum going on there and the reason why that's happening is because of the movement set to this object there is no movement set to the object so we need to set a bouncing ball movement to our laser and it's going to be traveling upwards and that's pretty much as simple as it gets so i can now move our spaceship around and press spacebar and as you can see we're firing out objects and you, as you look real closely you can see that it's coming exactly where we want it to originate from which is the nose of the ship now if you had an enemy um, spaceship let's just flip this guy around so we'll flip that vertically like so we're going to create a bit of a test um, object here so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to give this guy a path movement can't see where the path is because the back of the frame is black as well but it doesn't really matter jump into the events create a condition that says always set movement set speed to 25 did I set that to loop get it to loop right now uh, and let's create one from our enemy real quick so this is a real basic beginner tutorial um, so we just select this clock and we go every um, and let's do every 40 milliseconds uh, again we right click and we create object um, we want to create the red laser don't we so let's bring the red laser in okay let's give it a move bouncing ball movement let's change the directions to down only like so don't forget we uncheck create at start because we don't want the object to be created until we say it. and we're going to say in this event every 40 milliseconds create the red laser again we select uh, our ship which is the enemy ship on this one we select the action point which should be at the tip of the ship uh, and then we run it let's see what happens every 40 every 40 milliseconds you can see now that our spaceship is creating bullets uh, the, the enemy spaceship is creating bullets every 40 milliseconds and we can create our own bullets when we press space bar you've seen how fast i've managed to do that in click team fusion 2.5 it's real simple as that you're setting up your play area you drop your objects in if you want to if you want a specific object to fire um you just have to ensure that uh, the action point is set to um you know the right place on the animation where you want the object to be created from and then inside uh, your events where you right click and create on object uh, you select the object you want to fire it from and then you select the action point in the originating from 
uh, in the dialogue there but you can see how quick and easy that was to do in click team fusion 2.5 don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel and there'll be more of this coming your way real soon